Hi everyone, my name is Marion Miller. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of On The Cushion. Today I'm going to talk about four great mindfulness skills that you can develop in your practice, uh, formal practice on the cushion, but also in everyday life, um, because that's why we meditate. We meditate to get better at life. So the first skill is noticing when your attention is not where you want it to be. Um, and we can all relate to this, who gets distracted in life? me um so yeah really noticing when you're uh doing something the task at hand and your mind wanders off um sometimes you can even actually start behaving and doing something different you know and completely lose track of what, what you're doing in the first place and knowing where you want to be so having this skill to just notice when your mind wanders off from the task at hand and um that's the first skill so then uh, the next mindfulness skill that's really great for developing a good practice is to be able to move your mind away from where you don't want it to be. So once you notice that your mind's not where you want it to be, it's about moving it away from where you don't want to be. Um, and uh, one thing I would suggest that can be really helpful for being able to move away from where you don't want to be is to not do so harshly and with a really critical voice because um, it's unhelpful uh, you beat yourself up for being distracted in the first place or you might have judgments around not being able to practice mindfulness very effectively um, so really bring it away with a sense of kindness and just you know being playful or curious and um, move it away from where you don't want it to be and the next skill is uh, placing it back on where you want it to be. So bringing your attention back to uh, that object of your attention, which, you know, sometimes it's the body scan. Sometimes it's uh, an emotional feeling, a sensation in the body. Sometimes it's an object like a candle or a crystal. Uh, so really uh, moving it away with that sense of kindness and then placing it back on where you want it to be. So where you are attending to in your practice or in your life and your activity that you're doing. And once you um, place your attention where you want it to be, the last uh, mindfulness skill is really uh, keeping your attention where you want it to be. So, and this is the really, really uh, challenging part for some of us because we're so uh, used to being distracted. So keeping your attention on the object um, and it, and I would I would ex, I would implore you to uh, be a little bit curious about how you keep your attention because you don't want to be holding on too tightly because that uh, is it takes a lot of energy. It's really about finding that balance of holding your attention lightly um, and curiously and open and um, being able to just be present. And the breath is a really great anchor for that present moment awareness. So there are four mindfulness skills for you to practice. Um, I, I would suggest to practice uh, your meditation probably every day for about 20 minutes, I think is great. You know, it could even be morning and evening if, if you're really uh, inclined to want to explore the practice. Um, so four skills, I'll just quickly run over them again. Noticing when your mind isn't where you want it to be. Uh, Number two is moving your mind away from where you don't want it to be um, and then placing your mind back on where you want it to be. And then the last one is keeping your mind on where you want it to be. So attending to what you wanted to attend to in your practice. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you subscribe. I'm looking forward to uh, posting another video next week and sharing with you some more mindfulness-based coaching and counselling skills and practices. Take care for now and see you soon. Bye.